Chrome OS 87 has arrived and it is rolling out for the majority of Chromebook users. There are quite a few notable updates with this version and so we wanted to walk through a handful of those with you. All right, so let's dive in. We're gonna start with Alt-Tab. So for those of you who have been Alt-Tab users on Chrome OS or Windows, you know how it works. Alt-Tab moves you through your open windows. You stop when you want that one to bring in focus and that's it. Well, they've added a couple of things that help you navigate this, especially for those of us like me that aren't really Alt-Tab users and it makes a lot of sense. So first up, instead of just hitting Tab to move through and especially if you had you know 15 of these things open, you can have to hit that Tab button a bunch of times. You can actually use your arrow keys down here to move left and right through them. So if you have used Alt-Tab before and you've gotten right past the one you wanted to hit, you gotta cycle all the way back around. Now you can just use the arrow keys. Additionally, you can use a three finger swipe back and forth on these. And there's multiple ways you can actually select the one you want. So once I say, yes, I want files app, I can just let go of Alt. Or if I'm going over here, I can click the mouse key or I can click enter or I can click the space bar. So all of those things will bring whatever you have highlighted into focus now. Next up, we have Bluetooth battery percentage, and that's as simple as it sounds. Whether you're in the Bluetooth menu proper or you're just in your quick settings over here, if you have a Bluetooth accessory like a mouse, this is actually the Microsoft Surface Mobile Mouse, I think is what it's called. You can go right here and you can see right here, it shows 100% battery. If we expand this Bluetooth menu, you get in green text down here, connected 100% battery. And then if we go to the Bluetooth menu proper, you also see connected 100% battery. So it's kind of cool to be able to keep an eye on the battery levels of your peripheral devices. Next up are a couple changes in the files app. So if we open up the files app, you'll see one big change. If you go into your Google drive and select any item, so whether it's a folder or an individual item, if you select any item, you're now gonna see a new toggle that shows up up top that says available offline. And switching that toggle on, assuming it's a, a, a file that you own and you're able to get it offline, so like this one is technically one of my files, I flip this, even if my Wi-Fi is not on, that file is going to be available and you can see a check mark has appeared right there. That file is gonna be available when I don't have connection to the internet. Another addition to the Files app that will be helpful down the road especially is a difference in the pop-up that tells us how long a file transfer is gonna take. Used to, we got a blue circle and while it showed you progress, it didn't really tell you how long the actual process was going to take, but that has been changed now. So I'm gonna show you really quickly. If I plug in this external drive, and we move a decently sized file here. Now you're gonna get a pop-up that actually gives you an estimate on time. So about one minute remaining, so it's probably gonna be less than a minute, but it gives you an estimate of time versus just showing you a blue circle of the progress bar. Another feature Google chose to highlight with this particular update is the wallpaper app. And we've actually gotten a lot of questions over our last couple videos about where we got our wallpapers and backgrounds. And they actually come right from the wallpaper picker. The update to the app isn't substantial. It's not like the UI has changed at all here, but we have quite a few new categories over here to pick from. My favorite is the Made by Canvas. These are uh, backgrounds that were built and made and drawn with Chrome Canvas. So it's kind of cool to use a background that was created likely on a Chromebook, but there are some other additions in here and we're starting to see more and more new options with the wallpaper picker. One final update we'll touch on here is the wider rollout of the new handwriting module in the touchscreen keyboard. And we've seen this before. We actually did a whole video about this specific feature and how cool it is, but I just wanna show it to you one more time. Grab my pen here. And as you can see, if I bring up the on-screen keyboard and go to handwriting, it gives you a little pop-up here. It's becoming smarter. You can edit text and all that kind of stuff, but you get three lines. And when you write, again, I'm trying to write at an angle it somehow picked up that is right. It's amazing, to be honest with you. It allows you to write multiple words. My handwriting is not this bad, but man, writing on an angle, this is terrible. Write multiple words. If I hit check, it's gonna put those up there and be done with it. But if I'm like, ah, I didn't want multiple, I'm gonna scribble that out. Boom, that gets erased. 
Uh, it does just some really cool stuff here, and it, it is a huge, huge upgrade. I would tell you to go watch our other video if you want to see this in action a little bit more. But it's a huge upgrade that is now available across the board for Chrome OS users. And again, as we get more tablets and more convertibles and more USI stylus and more Chromebooks that work with these pens, this is a huge upgrade and a very meaningful upgrade, I think, for most Chromebook users. But guys, that's about it for the notable changes in Chrome OS 87. There's some cool stuff behind flags that we're tinkering with a little bit. We're going to make another video about that, some of the experimental things you can try out in this version of Chrome OS. But that's it for this one. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, go down there and hit the subscribe button, and be sure and click the notification bell as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you.